Oh, hey, everybody. I'm Blitz. Welcome back to Oxygen Not Included. I just ate an apple, so we've got that going for us. And this guy's super adorable. Look at the little guy. He's just bouncing around. Aw, he's so cute. <laughs> Too bad that's the only good thing we have going for us right now. Yeah. So we, we have some big brain things that we have to do, hopefully, in this video. I, I've got my fingers crossed that I can actually manage to do it. The first thing I want to do is try to combine the water. Now, this is super hot water. This water up here isn't super hot, but it's full of poop juice. And well, I mean, it straight up is poop juice. But check this out. It's an it's a ice sculpture. I didn't even know you could do that. Somebody made artwork in it, and it's going to melt, which is fine because it's hot, and this water is super not good temperature <laughs> the entire base is just heated up and it's terrible and my dupes are like oh please i don't want to live here anymore so i was thinking a couple things like i had the big brain ideas um a couple things we had this system that kind of worked but i was thinking i don't even know where it is there temp shift plates um and i was thinking like why don't i just try to dissipate the heat a little bit Oh, uh, we have slow heating decor i gotta find a good one here that's thermally reactive i don't want to use gold is something else thermally reactive? Yeah, there we go. Wolframite. That's even more expensive than gold. I could build them out of... That's weird. Ice. There. Mafic rock. And if I just put a few of these in, it could, like, uh, dissipate the heat into other areas, I think. So I'm just going to slap a few of these in here. Make it slap. And I don't even know what I'm doing. But I remember using these in the past and they were kind of cool and it spread the heat around a little better. So that might work on this to cool things down a little bit more. Uh, we'll see. Can I, I can't do it behind there, of course. But we'll try that. Might do something. Also, this thing's going the rock crusher because we need um, steels. And I don't need that a super high priority, but what I would like to do sometime very soon is try to continue this because somewhere down in here there's crude oil and if we can get crude oil that solves a lot of our problems also might create a few problems but it's oxygen not included problems are included oxygen usually isn't so we do have these guys going i would very much like to expand the system i've recognized that left and right is probably not the best idea but more of a square region for these uh what are they called stables i think that's probably a better thing to do so we don't need them like that. And I would like this thing to be completed, but we do have a lot of uh, hydrogen in here. If we can get rid of the hydrogen, it should work. Temperature's relatively fine. So I just have a lot of problems. Most of it's heat related because I did the dumb and made super hot water in there. So if we can grab this water, make it work down into there, everything should start turning around. That's my guess anyway. I mean, we're probably still gonna be out of power for days. Ooh, I should just wrangle these guys. Wrangle the dangle. Get those things in my in the, the dangle and hole. Wrangle. I don't even know. Things are just like crying. And I'm just letting it cry. Yeah, wild growth. I mean I could just make a make a stable down there. Not even a stable. Whatever this is. Growing room. Green greenhouse. Also, this thing is intent entirely pointless. It's straight up the dumbest thing ever. Where are these guys going? Oh, they, they went and got the food. Okay, I'm fine with that. And they're gonna go down there and breathe because <laughs> there's no other oxygen. This thing is on. Where, should I just turn this one on? I feel like I should turn this one on. Whoop, there we go. Now we'll be pumping a good amount of oxygen and good amount of hydrogen in here. I really need to make the automated batteries, but I still, or what are they called? The the da 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 dee 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 doo doo the smart batteries, but I need refined metal, which is why I built this system way down over here, or I want to, just so I can crush this stuff. So let's start um, prioritizing the water flow for this thing. I want to get uh, I want to get all of this work done in here. I think that's probably a good plan. Probably need a ladder in the water just to make it a gooder plan. We're gonna put a ladder down here. I want good water coming in. So if these guys can work on that, we'll get the good water flowing nicely into this region. Why can't they dig that? Unreachable dig. Because they haven't come down here. Please give me food. Please give me food. Please give me sweet eggs. Sure. <laughs> yeah. Yum. What is this in here? Why is there like red? Is it because it's warm? It might be warm. I also feel like I should probably shut off this side. Just stop playing with it. And then I'm gonna, wow, you just came down in here to breathe polluted oxygen. That's disgusting. Okay, I'm gonna open this up. 
and I want these set to lock. I just want one side set to lock, and then I'm gonna open this up, and I'm gonna flood this whole chamber so I have just lots of extra stuff. This is not working, right? Somebody said I could fill this area with, with chlorine gas, and it would work. It's not working. I've got storage bin making chlorine gas there. Also, look at this. There's a big old pile of coal there, which is kind of cool. Okay, these things are functioning. We're making water over here. Where did this water come from? I think that was just a loop. Yeah, just to scrub the carbon dioxide. And that comes from way over here, but there was no carbon dioxide over there. So these are basically turned off. Is that... Wait, hold up. I'm wasting this power. Let's just disable that. Wow. I'm, all of that power has just been wasted. All of that hydrogen that I've been trying to store into here. Where's that hydrogen coming from? Yeah, it's going to be stored into that. Wow. That's been a long time I've been wasting that. It's too bad. Because these things aren't even functioning. There's no oxygen going on in there. If anything, what I need to do is pump in this hydrogen from up here. Just suck out the hydrogen and bring it in. I can store all of the errors too. We don't have very much pressure either. Like, the base is not pressurized very well. Is that because... Yeah, maybe I should just make up, like, another another one of these right in the bedrooms. We'll do this here. Put a gas vent there. We could pop in a gas vent lower. Sometimes it's just good for me to sit back and kind of look at what we have and why it's not working and then try to fix it. So if we do that, add those in, things could be better. We'll put those at a priority 7, too. I just want them done right now. And then we'll just try to store all of the hydrogen we can into those three hydrogen tanks. Why is that not functioning? These aren't hooked up to that circuit. They're out of coal again. Do we have coal? We better have coal. I mean, there's a coal. <laughs> all of the ice melted. <laughs> it's kind of fun. Now I'm going to build more and more and more and more. I don't even want them to do whatever they do with it. I just want it to melt. That's my whole objective in life. Okay, that door is open. This one needs to be unlocked. Would you stop starving? Like, seriously, I'm doing the best I can. Just quit whining. Ah, oh, so annoying. These are growing now. That's awesome. We have zero oxygen left in the base because that's not functioning. These have no power and they have no power because there's no power anywhere. Why don't you have power? It's fish and coal. Oh, balls. Here's an idea. Coal-powered power plants are not good without a renewable source of coal. And they take a lot. You'd have to have a ton of hatches to make it work. Which is probably a goal. I think that's what I'm going to use my first... Uh, I should probably just remove this area and make this into like a totally new design. Oh look, a morb. I forgot about morbs. Alright, so I'm going to flood this chamber in the bottom. And that should... I really kind of want to see the temperature shift in this. Yeah, it makes it a little cooler. And I'm wondering if it's just going to naturally heat up. Ah, oh, some leaked out. Oh, well. Lock that door. Kind of figured it would. Ick. So gross. Just got liquid sewage. Who's suffocating? Just stop suffocating. Who's starving? <laughs> Everyone's starving. All right. And then I'm going to check the germs here. Yeah, it's still germy. That's fine. I'm just going to leave this open like this, and nobody's going to be allowed in or out. Not the best option, but, I mean, it's my only option right now. We can deal with it when the time comes. Can you guys stop suffocating in junk? Thank you. Oh, it's just leaking every... Where are you going? Where are you doing? Why is everyone going down here? What are you doing? Picking up sedimentary rock? And then they drop it. What are you dummies doing? No wonder I got problems. They don't even remember how to brain correctly. Where'd my Sweetles go? I had... Oh, there's one. They were hiding. Please give me food. Please give me food. Please give me food. Ice. I don't need ice, but it's better than not... It's better than having another person. I could have just disabled it. Oh, we got melt happening in here now. This heating up enough? No, not really. <laughs> of course not. I am disallowing anyone from entering that door. No one is allowed back down there. I don't care what you're going down there for. You're wasting all of your time. I promise. Sure, go into that room. What are you doing? Is it the only oxygen of it? No, there's oxygen right here. No clue what they were doing. Not a, not a single raging idea. 
But the good news is we have uh, oxygen that's flowing into the base again. And we have hydrogen that we're collecting. Cool. Oh, that's what they were looking at. There is zero sedimentary rock. I think that's the first time I've ever had that happen in this game. No sedimentary rock. All right, whatever. We'll grab this. Maybe there's some food in here for us, too. Oh, a single muckroot. Nice. We got so much, so much food now. How did you dig that? Oh, it was right in the corner. I'm actually kind of happy right now. Things are working. Sort of. We're getting rot piles in there. I guess things are still rotting. <laughs> Goodbye, food. It was nice knowing you. All of today's food is now eaten. They have yucky lungs because the air in there is terrible too. Which is strange because there's a deodorizer right here. Unless that's not even hooked up. It is. But I put in another pipe here to hopefully push some of that away. And these are growing. Mostly. So nobody wants to build. Maybe I should give somebody a building priority. Why haven't I done that before? Who's my builder? Bob, where are you? Okay, so I switched it from sedimentary rock to igneous rock because it really doesn't matter. And this is going to start pumping in that stuff. Wait, what? Oh, yeah. No liquid output. Okay. Which should work in just a minute. There we go. So now that'll pump stench water down into here to get redone. Maybe. Because we're not pumping this right now. We're just going to kind of let that food poisoning just... I don't even know. I just probably are going to pump it down to the lava level and just let it turn into lava lake eventually. That's my goal. I don't have a goal. I don't really know what I'm doing. But I do want to drain this one down, kill that fish that's in there. Just kidding. And then, uh, like, bring this over. So that's going to flow down into here. We're getting oxygen back in the base again, which is cool, even if it's polluted. And these things are functioning, so that's also good. That water's at 37 degrees coming in here. Did they get these temp shift plates done? No, nah, nobody wanted to do that. The mafic rock. Yeah, that's a fun word to say. I don't know why this isn't completed either. Probably because they've been working on everything else. I'm kind of excited because the water's coming in at 35, and it is cooling down in here, even if the temperatures... Oh, the temperatures seem to do all right. Nice, it recovered pretty well. And now that water is dipping in at 32 degrees, which is... Still better than nothing. Because it's going in at 35. So it's cooling down a little. Yeah, you can only have one or the other in here. So let's remove this. Get rid of the grooming station so we can make a greenhouse. Where did the Sweetle go? Because the Sweetles need to tend to these crops too. How in the world did you get over there, Liara? How? How did you get through the floor? Whatever. Uh huh. You're so smart. Here, let's uh, copy these, and then you can get those. Right up. One more. There you go. And now you can do this. Whee! Ooh, caught yourself on the ladder. That's dangerous. I'm glad I caught that though. All right. Uh, things are working. I I'm feeling comfortable. I mean, the food situation is still dire, but. At least things are working. I need to wrangle this. We're going to wrangle that and then put you in here. Is this now a greenhouse? Yeah. Okay. And then we're going to put the Sweetles in there. Okay, cool. I mean, we have some running around. We might as well just grab them and stick them in the thing. Right? It'll work. That one must have died. <laughs> and this this uh, smooth hatchling is only 72% viable. I really need to get... Did we, did we do this yet? Oh, it works. Nice. I just need copper. I just need like 300. Can I? No, 20. But that's fine. That's fine. And we have one of these. Hey, one temp shift plate made. Ooh. Ooh. Hatchlings. Yes. I'd eat them if I could. I mean, I could. I want to. Are you guys gloomy? They're cramped too. All right. Let's put the eggs in here. Where, oh, where is the critter egg? Hatchlings in here for days. Where are you going? Oh, you're picking up sulfur. Okay, cool. All right. So if I do a couple of airflow tiles up here and then eventually pop in a... Oh, that works nicely. We're getting good good water flow again. Very nice. The hatchling eggs are being shoved inside of that chamber. 
I mean, at a certain point, we can eat hatchlings too, which would be nice. Yay, the Sweetles are doing their thing. They're tending to the crops, even though their crops aren't growing. They're building the plates too, which is really cool. Is it working for the temperature then? Oh yeah, it's spreading the temperature out a little easier. I wonder if that's cooling the stuff down. 31 degrees, okay. Now do we have, how much of this do we have? Rock crusher, work and copper, just straight copper. 150 kilograms. Can we build the the crusher for the, or the incubator? I feel like we need a full rework. Maybe we'll do that in the next video. Do a full rework of the, the ranching system. We could like remove all of this stuff and make better. Let's see, what is the proper, where is it? <laughs> Natural reserve, park signs, hospital, stable. 96 tiles, which is what? Eight by eight? That's 64. Nine by nine? 81. Nine by nine isn't that big. I mean, it's huge, but it's not that big. This right here would be a perfect stable size. Okay, I'm gonna try. Ah, do I do it next time or do I do it this time? Do I need to work on the food? I still feel like these are important. Maybe we should try getting this work done a little better. We're also continuously getting more and more oxygen in here. Might not be working properly, but this thing's still working. Current load gets a little bit overloaded. That's probably because we're pulling water out of here and putting it into there. And this stupid natural gas geyser still has not erupted since that f initial game. We are getting hydrogen built up in here too, so that's cool. These things need to be 30 degrees. The gas inside there is 30.2. <laughs> Just barely enough. These lights also make it a little bit warm. So I don't want an egg cracker, I want the incubator. Can I just put that in here? How many do I need? Creates heat. Incubates, does it need power? Please don't need power, it does need power. I'm surprised this stress is only sitting at 16% too, because things are not great around here. <laughs> They're not. We're out of coal again as well. Come on, game. Treat me nice. We just have to go from putting out one fire to putting out another fire constantly. Kind of annoying, but that's what happens in this game. Unless you have like a lot of experience playing it, which I did <laughs> uh, before I didn't play it for three years. So I'm gonna try to get more coal down here. I, I do, I feel like I definitely need to rework the, the hatch area so I can get a lot of eggs, get some food going. I don't think it'll work too much, but these are growing. I mean, things are growing in here and that hydrogen's going up. So if I pulled out more hydrogen, if I had more power, I could pull up more oxygen or hydrogen in there. I could also run some of the manual generators, which probably is a good idea to redo, even though there's no oxygen down here for them. Or is there? Oh yeah, a little bit. But there won't be in a second because we ran out of, oh, they are pumping. So we do have a little coal again. That's good. I found like one little nugget of it. There's another nugget. Boop. There's fossils? I didn't know there were fossils. So with that, my friends, that's the end of the episode. I'm really fingers crossed that I can continue this. <laughs> Cause whew, things are things are not looking good, but I've got an idea for the future. I, I also really need to get down and get more petroleum and kind of get some more feedback from what you guys say too. Cause you guys are more of the expert than I am. Are we getting a lot of carbon dioxide? Not really. So anyway, thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed and keep your stick on the ice. We'll catch you next time.